When I was young, I used to write with a wooden Ticonderoga number two pencil. My penmanship was terrible, my writing was unreadable, thus ungradable, and teachers warned my parents that I'd need some special care if I was to succeed in the public education system. It was suggested, and I don't recall how, that I attempt to write with the mechanical pencil, the more or less progression of the traditional pencil. Like a switch, my penmanship suddenly improved, my writing was appreciated, and teachers no longer assumed that I had a low mental capacity. Most importantly what happened, and I didn't know it at the time, was that I was embarking on a journey of continuous writing upgrades that would eventually bring me to my current spot in the digital world. My name is Dan, and I am a digital communicator. That's a rather loaded term, I know, but I think a bit of background on my relationship with writing might clear things up. In grade school, when I had days off, I'd often head into work with my mom or dad. At my mom's office, I'd occupy my own eight-hour workday, not with coloring books and crayons, not arts and crafts materials, but with a dusty old typewriter that was being held for both frugality and nostalgia. Being only about six, I had no typing ability, but I would bang on the keyboard all day, creating intricately brilliant stories about characters that existed in my mind. What really was on the paper was nonsense that was void of spaces, punctuation, and, well, words. On days that I'd go into the office with my dad, he'd sit me down at the table in his office, grab me one of the dozens of laptops his company had in a closet, and I'd type words. Lists of 30, maybe 40 words that would take me hours. Pecking away at each key, I spelled colors, numbers, simple words, and I was proud of my work. Writing became a staple of my childhood. A pencil at the piano with my sister, a goofy name on a video game against my brother. Writing implements became artifacts around which my fondest childhood memories revolved. Some digital, some not. As I grew older and my family grew lamer, at least 12-year-old me thought they did, I found an internet service that captivated my generation for years. AIM, aka America Online Instant Messenger. I used the service to chat with new old friends, make plans, talk drama, and most importantly, solve problems. After hours per day typing away on AIM, I became a rather advanced typist. But more importantly, I saw my words having an effect on people, a pleasure speech hadn't yet allowed me to take part in. Behind the computer screen, I acted as a psychiatrist for the life-threatening problems my friends had, like getting braces or breaking up with Bobby. I decided that I was quite good at this problem-solving thing, and at 14, I was determined that I'd be a psychiatrist. My new career trajectory left something of a lull in my digital life, but once I arrived at college, that changed. After a full year of transferring majors six times, I found professional writing. I met people with digital abilities that I didn't even know existed, and I wanted to hop on that bandwagon. So I did. I became almost entirely digital. In four years, I've owned three laptops, two desktops, an iPhone, two iPods, a Nook, and an Xbox. Let it be known I did use my own money to pay for most of them. With each of these tools, I produce videos, articles, press releases, emails, newsletters, web content, art, promotional materials, music. I do almost any communication, and I do it digitally. That is why I'm a digital communicator. So what does that mean? Why do I do everything digital? Well, I suppose it's because it's only natural. I, like much of my generation, am constantly bombarded with new technologies, new abilities, new mediums, and it'd be ignorant to ignore all of them. I produce digitally because that's just the way things work nowadays. It is the progression of the handwritten word. Digital work is on its way toward almost entirely eliminating the physical text. So I produce digitally because that's what this is, a digital era. Bookstores are going out of business, public libraries are threatening extinction, while sites like YouTube, Facebook, and WordPress are flourishing on the web. Digital literacy is in demand for the vast benefits that go along with it. I have an intimate relationship with writing and communication, and I always want to do it. That's why I, like most magazines, books, and newspapers, am going digital, and will continue to be a digital communicator.